does Echo Star still use MPEG-2 feeds or codecs from their satellites? Let's find out. So, right here I have this Dish 500 or if you're in Canada or New York or wherever it's close to Canada. It's a Bell Express View dish and this is just dish 500 normal dish um dp twin i accidentally aimed this dish at 72.7 west or nimic same manufacturer that makes bell satellites i think they're owned by direct tv i'm not sure but yeah i was trying to aim for 61.5 which is not mpeg2 and aimed for this instead so let's see i know there, i know 110 west just recently changed to mpeg4 feeds codex um, you know how I found out was because this World TV receiver, this free-to-air receiver, did not pick up frequencies anymore from 110, nor did this. Um, which is just a Dish 510 receiver. This is, we're not going to be using this in the video. This is just here to prop the TV up. But, I'm going to see if this will work. So I'm going to get this, uh, wherever the cord is, for video. Um, it's just a video wire, there's no, there's no audio. Um, plug this in video, and turn it on. And there we go, here's this video. Now, this is a Globecast receiver made for Telestar 5 and Globecast. Um, it's a, it's a free-to-air receiver, but it does have a smart card slot, so you can order pay-per-view. Um, it does, it's MPEG-2, so it's a good way to find out. Now, this... You can use it with Galaxy 97 West, Galaxy 19. That's what it would work for, because that's Tower Star 5, I'm pretty sure. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But we're going to go down here, connect this. So this is going to be the satellite input. We're going to go down here and connect this into the jack on the back. And go ahead and go to channel manager setup. I'm going to go to uh, antenna setup to see what we can get. And their universal password, thank you YouTube viewer for giving me this, but it's 0000. zero, zero, zero. And we want to see antenna, satellite, Telstar 5, just just uh, because it, do it doesn't really know any of these satellites. LNB type, do LNBF because that's what it is. And dissect none, and do exit leave. Change the setup. It's gonna save it. Hopefully, uh, I'm gonna go to channel search and let's see if we have signal. Well, we don't for some reason, but there is signal on the dish. I'm pretty sure. But I'm gonna search network. See what's on this. Um, yeah. Search one sat. Signal strength one. That's weird. Um, search network, search one sat. Usually it, it said two the other time I had tried it. That's LNB in. Uh, not really fond of that. That's kind of strange. Um, yeah, no wonder. It's, uh, it's trying to look at a different satellite, not this one. So I'm going to go ahead and connect this TV's input so we can actually hear the tones. Let's see if this is MPEG-2, 72.7. Um, I want to do channel 4. This is a DP510 receiver. It's not the good UI, it's the bad one. Um, and yes, I'm going to unplug. I do know for sure before the year 2020, if you had one of these receivers, you can get Dish 101 or Scapes. I'm not sure when they changed to the Scapes, probably 2020. But you can still pick up Dish 101 with these old legacy receivers um, back then. And yes, a 625 is considered useless. It's MPEG-2 garbage. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not going to do anything. But let's go ahead and plug in this 510. And I'm going to first tune the TV to... Uh, well, that's menu. That's menu. It doesn't want to get out of the menu. Okay, it's on channel 3, and I'm going to plug it in to the outlet. You can see it's booting up right now. And yes, this is a Dish DVR model. And yes, this, the, the, these two receivers and this dish would be bread and butter back in the day. 
um, has the G3 smart card and it was not inserted fully so I just pushed it and now it's inserted um, we'll see what it does like I said I have no clue what satellite this is gonna pick up uh, or actual frequency because for some reason it doesn't want to get satellite 110 anymore but this got it but I guess they shut it I'm I'm very very confused what's going on with the frequencies this year they shut down 118.7 um, they moved channels to streaming which is stupid because just leave them alone leave them on satellite because um, I don't stream I mean yeah, I mean, what's this? So this is channel 3, right? It's supposed to be on right now. Okay, it's off. On. Is this 3? What, what is this? Sometimes it doesn't, it doesn't like to work. Oh, oh, it was set to, it was set to 4. Okay, so menu. Do system setup. Installation point dish. Gotta love that noise. I'm gonna go to... Actually... Okay, we're 72. Uh... Why isn't there 72? That's weird. Yeah, there's no 72.7. So, that's, something's not right here, because it's supposed to say 72. It only has, it doesn't have 129, so at least we know that it didn't revert back to the original state. But why is there no 72? I, I, I can't tell you why there's no 72 on here. What the hell is going on with Dish? Seriously. First, the merger failed with DirecTV in them. Now Echo Star is shutting down. Now they already shut down 18.7. Now this? I mean, what is going on? What is actually going on? Well, why, we, while we wait, here's just a tour of the dish. It's 500. Like I said, here's the slim line. Here is the Plus, which is my main dish that I use with my system. Here is the free-to-air dish. Here is the other 500 pointed at 110, 119 like it's supposed to be. Um, not 72 because it's, it's unnatural for those to get that. But this is weird. That is very strange. I don't know what is going on. Oh, also, I'm going to run a cable from this uh, dish to the l and in on this, hopefully, um, whenever I do. To see what the heck is on there. Unless I'll make a video after seeing what what is on 72 i i don't know what is on 72 i've never aimed at it before just the times i try to aim at it was glitches with the receiver and it just got 61 but this is actually at 72 now okay well we just found out that there's no 72 that's mpeg 2 anymore which is weird yeah we can we can see that now see look at the list Yeah, there's no, there's no way that this is useful anymore. It's just junk. Basically junk. Um, but yeah. Well, they shut down MPEG-2 on 72, but I got signal, which is good. But yeah, that's, that's it for this video. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.